In this video, we will compute the time of concentration for an urban watershed, develop a curve number, and compute a runoff hydrograph with TR55. First, we'll start off with an urban watershed that has already been delineated. A time computation arc coverage and arc have already been created for this watershed. WMS can do this automatically by computing the longest flow path from elevation data. In this case, the time computation arc was created manually. The arc has been broken into three sub-arcs so that different time computation equations can be used to represent different conditions. We'll double-click on the upper time computation arc to view the attributes. Here the time computation equation that best represents the condition can be used. We'll use the TR55 sheet flow equation. We'll modify the two-year, 24-hour rainfall variable. After modifying the variable, WMS calculates the new travel time for the selected arc. We'll now set up the time computation for the next arc. The TR55 shallow concentrated flow equation will be used. For the last arc, we'll use the TR55 open channel equation. For this equation, we will need the hydraulic radius. We'll use WMS to develop this. Next, we'll set up the TR55 model. We'll set up WMS to use the time computation arc that we created and modified. We'll then change the amount and distribution of rainfall. Before we finish the TR55 model, we need to compute the curve number for our basin. We will use WMS to calculate the weighted curve number from the land use and soil type shape files that are already loaded in the project. WMS calculated a weighted curve number of 78.88. We will now run TR55 again. WMS automatically inserts the computed curve number. The peak flow is automatically calculated, and a hydrograph can be computed. 